I'm back with another video. This is Daisy's Beauty and my name is Deanna. Um, so we're in the fourth video of my series and in this video we're going to be completely talking about complexion and base. So what that is is like your um, primers, your foundations, your like contour, like liquid contour, um, and things like that. So that's what we're going to be getting into this video. I'm going to be giving, while I'm doing my base, I'm going to be giving you guys my recommendations and the best products that I like to use to get like my flawless base um, that I like doing. So I'm just, I already have my eyes done. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. I already have my eyebrows done. I have a video on that as well. If you haven't seen those videos, go check it out. I also did a video on the best stores to go to to buy makeup in this series. So those are the first three videos. This is the fourth video and we're going to be covering like foundation, which is also called like your complexion products. So we're going to get right into it. And we're going to start with primer. Now, before you put primer on, I do want to stress that you make sure that your skin is clean before you apply any makeup. I know this is the fourth video and I probably should have said it in the first video, but just make sure that your skin is clean and you have done like a skincare before you put anything on your face. So now that we have that covered, we're going to jump into primer. So um, the first primer that I like using is going to be the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I really, really enjoy this primer. It gives me such a nice finish. It smells amazing. Um, I have the trial size. I like getting the trial size before I buy like a full size of a product to see if I like it. So I like this product so much, I'm more than likely going to buy the full size once I run out of this. And then after I buy the full size of this, I'm trying to get the, um, the spray, the setting spray as well, because I know I love that too. So, um, the next primer that I have is the Milani Prime and Shields. I like this primer um, for like my T-zone area. I really enjoy using that primer there. The Too Faced primer, I more so like a, a, all over, um, but if I have to like pick somewhere that I would use it the most, it would be like on the outer portions of my face, not my T-zone, but this is an all over, it's a good primer. This I like more so like in my T-zone area because it is prime and shield, it's supposed to be like a poreless um, and mattifying primer, so I get the oiliest in this T-zone area here. Um, the next primer I'm going to say is the All Star um, Matte and Blur Primer from ColourPop. Y'all, this is an amazing primer, let me see if you can see it. It's pale pink, so it might be getting washed out a little bit. But you guys, it is an amazing primer. Like, you only need a little bit, and I can use this all over my face as well. It's not too drying, even though it's a blur and matte primer, so I can use it everywhere. You guys, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, um, the fourth primer, and the primer that I'm going to be using today in conjunction with this primer that I'm going to be using today is the Milk Hydro Grip primer i really enjoy this primer i bought the small size it's 15 dollars. i bought this and um it's a really nice primer i like it for the t-zone area because i feel like it makes it helps the makeup like grip to my face and i thought it was probably like a gimmick and when i was seeing everybody review it and everything like that but i wanted to try it for myself and that's why i got the smaller size the bigger size i believe is like 39 or 40 dollars but i'm more than likely also going to buy the bigger size in this as well all of the products that I'm showing you guys, if I don't already have the full size, I'm going to invest in getting the full size simply because I love these products so much, which is why I'm telling you guys about it because I want you guys to be in on getting good products too. But this is an amazing primer. It helps like stick your foundation kind of like stick to your face like glue. Have you ever rubbed glue on your hand when you were a kid and then after a while you touched it and it had like that tacky feel? This is what this does. And because it has that type of feel, it allows your foundation um, to easily um, stick to your face, which, you know, prolongs your found like foundation in the look of your makeup do me up primer now i wanted to try this for a very 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 long time but i was super scared because as you can see it has like gold flakes in here and i thought that it was going to be like a um 
dewy primer and it is like that it is like that but when you put it on your face and you apply your makeup you get such a beautiful radiance that that doesn't even bother me because I know with my powders and everything else I'll be able to combat whatever else do I get but it was throughout the day I noticed that I had a beautiful finish on my face and it didn't even matter that this was a dewy um, primer or a primer that made my skin more dewy because it looked absolutely amazing and the finish was beautiful so those were the five primers that I wanted to mention so I'm going to go ahead and apply my two primers that I'm using today the milk one in my t-zone and this all-star primer on the rest of my face um the next set of products that I'm going to be talking about today is foundation now with foundation um, sometimes some people find it hard to find like good foundation products um, simply because they might not be able to find their undertone um, or they may not be able to find like their perfect match so they kind of get discouraged with finding foundations but each of the um, companies and foundations that I'm going to be um, speaking about today they have amazing color range and they have amazing products not to mention everything that I'm mentioning in the video today is also cruelty free each of these um, um, brands are cruelty free so I just wanted to mention that as well cruelty free means that um, at no point during the production of the product do they test on animals I'm gonna go ahead and apply the um, hydro grip primer now on my t-zone area like the middle of my face so that's a good thing. I always look for that when I'm looking at my products because I don't want to get anything that's going to be harmful to my environment or like animals. That's super bad, you guys. If you guys, I know you don't know, but when I was in college, um, my first major was biology. So I have a love for like biology and the environment, um, humans in general, mankind. So... I'll look for things like that when I'm looking at my makeup. Um, I think one of the brands, let me rephrase. I think most of the brands that I'm showing you today are cruelty free. I think like at least one of the brands that I'm showing you is not cruelty free or either they're not vegan. But you can definitely always look that up yourself. All you have to do is go on Google and type in the brand or the product that you want to look up and put on the end, is this brand cruelty free? Or for instance, you just put... Um, is ColourPop cruelty free? Press enter and it'll tell you all the products on ColourPop that are cruelty free and that are also vegan. Um, so I already applied my base. So next let's get into talking about foundation. The first foundation that I'm going to be talking about today is the Revolution, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. It's in the color F13. I absolutely love it. I'm going to show you guys the applicator. So big so huge this is the um applicator that i'm going to i mean the foundation that i'm going to be using today um i love this foundation it gives a beautiful finish absolutely stunning you guys will see today when i use it i'm going to be applying it with a brush that's the first foundation the next foundation is the um maybelline super stay full coverage i wear this in the color 340 cappuccino this is an amazing full coverage foundation it gives an absolutely beautiful finish it looks so flawless so smooth it's nice now i'm um, staying with the um maybelline brand i also love their matte and poreless foundation my color is 338 spicy brown amazing foundations um maybelline as well as makeup revolution has amazing color range amazing formulas and they're beautiful and also um good as far as price range as well the super stay is around like 10 or 11 dollars depending on where you go and the fit me is around like five dollars so that's one of the more affordable out of the three i would say that it's the maybelline fit me matte and poreless um which i wear in 338 spicy brown and then it would be the um, Makeup Revolution one. It's $9. I read that in F13. And then I would have, say, the Super Stay um, Foundation. And I wear that in 340 Cappuccino. Now, I have three more foundations. The next one I'm going to mention is the Wet n Wild. This is around $5 as well. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. If you can find your color in this foundation, they have a good color range. I think they could do better, but they have a good color range for um, being drugstore. If you can find your color in this foundation, it's 
beautiful. It looks beautiful in photos and it's um on the more reasonable side. So it's around $5 for this foundation, but it is an absolutely beautiful finish. The next foundation I'm going to mention is the L'Oreal um, Infallible. This is empty. But I keep it because I want to use like a, as color reference and I want to like remember that I need to get another one. Like every time I use it, I need to remember that I need to get a new one because I forget because I have so many foundations, you guys, and I try out so much makeup. Um, but that's an absolutely beautiful foundation. It, it keeps you matte. It has a beautiful finish like all the other foundations that I've mentioned. And I wear that in 111 Sable. Now, um, this foundation is more of a pricier foundation it's around like 39 dollars but it's the um fenty beauty foundation this is the um rihanna's brand and you guys this foundation is beautiful like if you try it and you like the formula it's beautiful it's a soft matte um which means that it's not going to keep you too dry it's not going to dry it dries down all the way but it does it has like a beautiful finish i'm going to do a video um, later on after I finish my series and I'm gonna do like a full face of Fenty and I'm going to be using her products so I won't go too much into it um, but it's a beautiful foundation you guys and this foundation I wear the color 370 now that color is a little bit too light for me but if I go up to like my next color that also matches my undertone I feel like it's too dark so I um, oftentimes mix this with foundations to get the finish and the color that I like so I use this sometimes as I'm mixing and sometimes I use it alone because I know how to fix my foundations as to whether you know they can still look cute and it can look match my skin tone so I love this foundation it's in color 370 um if you haven't you know had this line before I suggest that you try something from Fenty they have a variety of products they have lip products they have um more complexion products bronzers highlighters they have um primer complexion products you guys I always try to look for y'all look at that I always try to look for brands that have a good range of color, like foundation colors, so that I could give, like, you guys good reviews. And for myself as well, even before I started doing YouTube, I was looking at brands for, like, who is your, your consumer? Like, everybody buys makeup, so who are you really trying to, like, sell this to? Like, do you want me to buy your product? Are you looking for me to buy your product? Or do you not want me to buy your product? For whatever reason, you know? So, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend this out. Again, I use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define um, foundation. And it's, I'm in the color um, F13. So, I'm blending that out all over my skin. I don't go too deep. Um, under my eyes with foundation because again you guys we're going to conceal under there and you don't need all that product under your eye it makes you look thick under the eye like and it could like crust up and stuff so you don't want that uh, for your foundation you see this finish you guys it's absolutely beautiful and it has great finish and coverage so I love it also, you guys, when I do my foundation, I like to initially apply it with a brush, and then I go in later with a damp sponge, and I just tap over it just a bit. So my foundation is completely applied now and blended out. You see what a difference that made, you guys? It's beautiful. It's beautiful, you guys. So now I'm going to get like a damp sponge from behind me. This is a real Techniques one. And I'm just going to blend it out. I'm also going to do like a brush video after I finish this series, you guys. I have a lot of content coming for you guys, so stay tuned. Stay My tuned. favorite concealers to use are LA Girl Pro Conceal. They're cheap, inexpensive, and they're amazing. Um, my second favorite are Makeup Revolution concealers. Um, in LA Girl, I wear like the colors for under my eye. I wear toffee and fawn under my eye. 
And for Makeup Revolution, I like their concealers as well. They're all full coverage and they give you amazing C13 and C12. C13 is more near my complexion and C12 is more of a highlight for me. I don't go too far above my shade or below my shade when I'm looking for a concealer to highlight because I want it to look um, more natural. I don't want to have like a super crazy highlight. For me personally, I just find that that's not the most flattering for me. Um, so I just try to stay you know within a certain range and the third highlighter that I'm going to highlighter <laughs> the third concealer that I use to highlight and I really enjoy is the Fenty Beauty um, concealer it's the pro filter concealer into instant retouch concealer um, and I use it in the color 330 this is really beautiful as well so today I'm going to be using the um, one of the LA pro girl um, Correctors and I'm going to just dab a little bit there and then I'm going to use the makeup revolution Concealer the C13 and I'm going to top that off with the Fenty one just for a um, more highlighted soft look Now as far as um, concealers for under my eyes, that's what I love using those are my favorite concealers now as far as concealers and contouring like when I want to do a contour um I like using concealers to contour and powders. Now my favorite way to um, contour is with a powder or I'm more into my concealers powder. and I wanted to learn more about cream um, contour. I'm looking into what I actually like to contour with as far as concealers, like a liquid contour. I also looked into my powders and what I already um, use to contour with. So. For liquid, since I like using cool toned powders, I also look for more cool toned concealers as well. So when I was looking, I looked at the concealers that I use for my under eye and those consistencies and I also looked for those for what I would use for a liquid contour. So when I did that, I tried a couple of concealers and these are my two favorite ones to use. The Makeup Revolution, of course, um, and C16. That's a more cool tone color if you can tell. And I would just put that a little bit right here. And then I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Now I don't like this concealer for under my eyes, but I do like this concealer for um, liquid contour. I find that it gives me an amazing finish. It looks really And don't forget you guys, I'm going to lighten it up just a bit. I don't put too much concealer. I don't like my product to look um, packed on. You see how that looks really natural close to my skin tone? That's because I used C13 first um, from Makeup Revolution. And now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty one. I'm just going to do that one like more towards the inner corner of my eye. back around and keep blending that out now for my um, liquid contour I'm gonna take the makeup revolution one and I'm just gonna put a dot here because it's super pigmented Might do just one more dot and then I'm gonna blend that out And it doesn't look like it did much right now, but it, it kind of, you see how it created a shadow. That's what we're trying to go for. And we're going to blend upwards, not downwards, because you don't want to take your face down. You want to blend upwards. And I'm trying to, like, just keep it in that general area there, um, like, above this area, because that's generally where your contour is supposed to go. I put a little bit of excess product on my forehead. I mainly like to bronze my forehead. But that'll be in the next video. I'm going to blend this out a little bit more. 
the last thing I want to talk about with you guys is fixing sprays so before I do any powder or anything I like using some sprays to kind of just lock everything that I just did in my favorite sprays to use for that I use them kind of as a fixing spray is the wet and wild matte finish the NYX matte finish the I, um, Makeup Revolution, I Love Revolution Fixing Spray in Green Tea and Mario Badescu um, Spray. Today, for this purpose, I'm going to use, because I want my face to be like matte, so I'm going to use a combination of these two. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I'm gonna take the sponge that I use and I'm just going to press that product into my skin. It's gonna give you a beautiful finish. Beautiful. You're not disturbing anything, trust me. It's gonna stay put. Okay. So those were all the products that I would use for my base to get like the perfect base that I like. Um, my base goes by pretty quick. It doesn't take me long to do my base. Um, the most time it takes is like my eyebrows and my eyes mostly. It doesn't take me long to do the rest. Once I have my eyes done and my eyebrows, everything goes by super quick. So you guys, that was the end of the video. This is how my base is looking now. You guys, it looks absolutely beautiful so far. I love my eyes, my eyebrows, my base, my finish. Don't forget, I'm going to have every single product that I mentioned in this video linked down below in the description box. So if you need a refresher, a quick refresher, don't forget, go down to that description box and I'll have everything listed down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video so that all your friends can be cute. Y'all can be cute together. We can all be cute. And you guys, don't forget to give you someone your my smile. smile. And again, don't forget to give someone your smile today. Bye, you guys. I love you.